Hey guys, Chris and I are really excited. This is the first year as Alliance RV brand ambassadors and we want to show you behind the scenes. And I'm sure, just like we always get, what the heck's it mean to be a brand ambassador? And what does that entail for you? So this whole video is going to be nothing but what it's like behind the scenes from Venturesome Couples perspective to be a part of the Alliance National Rally and what our duties are as brand ambassadors. So pardon the squint and the sexy hair. We've been rolling around in the garf cart. We're going to go in and uh, say hello to all the allies that are checking in. So let's go see what we find. All right, so here's the check-in. Oh, Lord, famous people. Hey, everybody. Woo! How are you guys? You guys having fun at the Ally Rally 2023? We are. Oh, hold on, <laughs> oh look at these. Look at these awesome earrings Martha has on. Those are beautiful. You know what I grabbed from in there? I owe money, by the way. I don't have cash. You're married, right? I am married. That's why you don't got any money. <laughs> <laughs> but look at these. Alliance dog tags. And we got one for Callie. You got one for Callie? Yep, to go yes. With beautiful Alliance bandana. These, so oh, yes, yes. The bandanas. Our awesome community doesn't know who you are. Well, why are you walking around with Cameron? Who are you? I'm Joe Mel, and I'm the director of marketing. Uh, you guys see the content posting on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. That's all me. Um, we're growing the team. Adding two, two, two new team members here. We got awesome allies, brand ambassadors, Martha and Chris. We can't thank you guys enough, and we can't thank the audience enough for tuning in. <laughs> and just so you know, we love working with Joe. He's amazing, and I could tell from week one that there was a change in Alliance, and it was a great positive change. So thank well, you for being that light. I appreciate that. But we got to give thanks to Coley and Ryan for creating this awesome vision of Alliance. Oh, absolutely. And that we can all drink the blue, blue Kool-Aid. There's actually blue Kool-Aid in there if you We're want gonna, some. We've <laughs> been hearing it, and you drink the Kool-Aid. I heard it was there. It's there. It's there, and there's margaritas. Yeah. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. That's right. <laughs> First thing you do is you go to the owner's tent, you check in, you're going to get your goodie bag, which has your shirts. Okay. And then we have the allies over here serving delicious food. This looks like our Texas ally family. These are the heroes of the entire day. Absolutely. They've been slaving away. And we had our lunch earlier and it was delicious. And this is Bob Mitchell, one of our good friends. How are you guys doing out there? Yeah, that's Ed. Every year they come out with a different kind of coffee cup for Alliance Rally attendees. And they are beautiful. It's like collector's cups. Does exist, Martha. We've drank the Kool Aid. All we right. have to know. We are both going to drink the Kool Aid. To the lights. To the lights. All right, that Kool Aid's delicious. Have you drinking the Kool Aid? Oh, you gotta try the Kool Aid. <laughs> so we have our good friend Danny. Her and Caleb bought an Alliance Valor 42 V13, which is a Valor after our own heart. And so, what brought you to Fam Alley? You guys did. What? You guys actually. You didn't know us yet, but your videos convinced us because they're pretty awesome. <laughs> so we met Danny, Caleb, and her beautiful children at Fort Wilderness last summer, and we got to meet with them, and it's been family ever since. 
We knew they were going to be great people. We met them at Disney. You cannot go wrong. I mean, that's a lady after Martha's own heart. So the cool part, you're going to see a lot of photos throughout this whole event. Danny's a professional photographer. We're going to put her information down below, and you'll be able to see her great work. Hi, Martha. Now we're getting a little excited. We know this machine. It is 5 o'clock somewhere, you guys, and this is the Redneck Margarita Machine from the Texas Allies. If you're wondering, Texas Allies and Shiner, a strawberry blonde margarita. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It isn't in Indiana, but I'm not going to judge her. <laughs> Don't freak out, but over your shoulders, Bill Martin. What? Bill Martin. Bill Martin? Bill the Martin. Bill Martin? The oh Bill my gosh. Martin. Let's go stalk him. And there she goes. <laughs> All right, he's my best friend. Hi, guys. Hello. How's it going so far? Good. I got blindsided here. What's going on? We want unfiltered. What is it to be an ally <laughs> from behind the scenes from Venture Co? Oh Venture my gosh. Perspective. Man, what a surreal weekend. We got almost 300 units. It just it gives me goosebumps just seeing them all lined up. Well received so far, for sure. Well, yeah, thanks to you guys, the parking team. Uh, we had just an absolute seamless uh, getting people set up and into their sites. And with 300 units, that's not a small task. So You guys have put together an amazing community, and we love you guys for it. And thank you very much for doing all this for Fan Valley and creating an environment that is so welcoming to all of the RV community. Well, we even have a couple other brands here. You guys are pretty awesome. Well, hey, you know what? We figure there's a few other brands here, but uh, you wouldn't show up if you weren't interested in Alliance in some fashion. So, you know what? And, if that's, and as a matter of fact, at our first rally, there was a good number of other brands there, and most of them have since purchased. I mean, it's, uh, we'll keep working for you, Bill. Guys, thank you so much. Right, Love you thank guys. Thank you, Bill. Love you, too. Martha, I see your spirit friend. Oh, I see one of my best friends. We need to go over and see who else is at this rally and what he brought with them. Absolutely. This is something that we, we love him, and he has a product that we've been using exclusively since mid-January, and it has not disappointed. Who are we talking about? My spirit animal, the no, one and only. What's going on? Living that dream, buddy. Welcome Thanks. to Alliance Rally 2023. What brings you upon us? Well, I'm giving away poop juice to everybody at the rally. Heck yeah. Yeah, well, hang on a second. This is liquefied. It's my brand of black tank chemical. It's orange scented, but if you see here, it's special Alliance Rally Blue just for the Alliance Rally. You cannot buy this flavor. I mean color, not flavor. Is it blueberry? No. It's still orange scented. Yes. We were just saying that we use it exclusively and we absolutely just love it. Yeah. And I know from experience, you guys have a pretty nice prime poop position. So I, I, I am glad that you guys use my toilet chemical. Yeah, all right. So tell our viewers, where can they purchase this? So they can go on Amazon, type in liquefied RV, or go to primepoopingposition.com, or you can go to liquefiedrv.com. Um, again, you can't buy the Alliance Blue. This is only a giveaway for the rally. Uh, but we do have the orange liquid, and uh, by the time you're watching this, we might have the tablets out. So, do you guys want to see the tablets? Yeah. Like, my viewers haven't even seen them yet. Oh, oh follow. Yes, yeah. follow. What do you think? Oh, that's nice. This is like bag that. number one. That is awesome. Oh, I like that. Fighting stinky black tanks one pod at a time. And on the think back. Think of me when you poop. We do think of him when we poop. Yep, created by the Matt's <laughs> RV Reviews team. I've been wondering why when Martha's in there, I hear bing, bing, bing. Yep. Who does number two work for? Yes. And so then, explain to me the uh, what's going on with the pods. Well, the pods are just pods. Are they liquid inside? No. So here's what they look like. Little, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a pod. It's a pod instead of uh, uh, the liquid. Same formula, same. Yep. Excellent quality. Excellent quality, absolutely. 
So that's exciting. A little behind the scenes stuff. Right. You guys saw it here on Venturesome Couple before you even saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. Now this Exclusive. Might be the, this might be the next video coming out now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Right. How quickly do you want pods to go global? <laughs> no, you guys can be the first to announce it. So when do the pods go for sale? So I gotta, I'm going to the studio tomorrow to take pictures for Amazon. And then um, they got to bag them. I mean, it'll probably be by like July 1st or something like that. That's my target date, July 1st. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you very much, Thank you, Matt. Matt. Thank you, guys. We love crashing Matt any chance and, we get. And, oh, absolutely. And thanks for the allergy medicine this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Anything for you. This has been an absolute amazing. This is our third national rally. And um, I would say, what is your favorite moment looking back on the rally now? I think my one of well, I'll say one of my favorite moments is Hawaii night. So we get to dress up in our finest Hawaiian attire, and there's a potluck. And, you know, that's a sense of community in the RV world, or just actually anywhere. And you get to bring your homemade dishes or store bought. Yep. And have a meal together, break bread. It was awesome. For me, the my favorite part was actually getting to have like an fam alley reunion because we got to see a bunch of alliance owners some of them didn't come last year but came the year before so it's been great we get we have now had three years in a row where we've got to see and hang out with fam alley and i can't it express is, enough this yeah, is a crazy a good fam alley reunion but the best part too is meeting the new allies 60 percent of the folks that came are brand new rv owners to alliance welcome to the party y'all welcome to the fam alley that's right. I can't <laughs> thank enough Alliance and the service team that they put together because for what, about 10 days straight, because the pre-rally and the rally, the service team were freaking awesome. They were swarming RVs. Yeah, so not only the service team, so the folks that work in the factory, in the plants. Yes. So pl they closed down some of the plants and like the whole crew came out and they took care of all of, all of us allies. Sorry, yeah. I'm so excited, I can barely speak. <laughs> So we have done a lot of upgrades since we've been here. We didn't anticipate that, right? No, we didn't. So we thought we had it all. <laughs> until something new comes out and I'm like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> shiny and this drawer slides. Yeah. So there, we're gonna do a video that's gonna recap the upgrades that we did since we were at the rally. And that'll be a separate video and we'll link that at the end. Yeah, and so sorry we didn't do daily vlogs. We got so bad about it because we got caught in the moment of just hanging out with Fam Alley, going to the seminars. The vendors here have been absolutely wonderful. We're just truly blessed to be part of this Fam Alley, the RV community. Yeah, it, it was a blast. And um, it was nice because we didn't host the bonfires this time, but we made it a point to go around and just mingle with everybody and go to the bonfires and hang out and meet new people. It was an experience that, you know, I really appreciate the whole reason we got into the RV community. Yeah, we did host the pre-rally bonfires, but like I said, we didn't do the bonfires here at our campsite because we, so we're part of parking crew, which meant we got a golf cart and we got to go around and try to meet as many allies as possible. So we got here Saturday before the rally, and we're part of the parking crew, so the, they need to make sure we're all set up. There was about 30 of us coaches here yep. on Saturday. And so Sunday, that's when the fun began. We parked how many coaches? 160 trailers came in on Sunday, so we were at a full sprint mm -hmm. all day long. And it was so much fun seeing so many folks come in, and the parking crew was the same as last year, and we added one more person. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We have this dial down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... and if you're looking for a fun job to volunteer, I would talk to Jim Belletti about mm -hmm. it because the parking crew is great because not only do you help the fam alley get into their spots, you get to meet everybody. You are yeah. like the welcome wagon for the whole freaking thing. So day two, Sunday, crazy busy, right? Yeah, it was, it was crazy busy. We had a lot of fun. And if you're wondering, that was Lorraine Mitchell. She bought doggy cookies and kitty treats to welcome the fur fam alley. Gotta have that. <laughs> Once we were done with parking crew, we kind of settled in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Monday was another busy day, not as bad. About 60 trailers yeah. came in. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So it was nice because everyone got to get settled in and just, you know, see where everyone's at. I kind of get the layout of the land around here because it is a little spread out in different areas. Yeah, this is a huge, mm -hmm. huge. The fairgrounds is huge. I mean, we, we were told that another brand um, put 600 trailers in here. I think yeah. we ended up with, uh, what they say, 288 this year? Uh, I think 297. 297. Yeah. It's somewhere in that frame. So. Yeah, big. 
big, big, big. So it was a great turnout. And then once uh, Monday was where we really started to get a chance to get out and mingle because mm -hmm. for the most part, people were in place. Everybody was kind of relaxing, getting set up. And then let's Tuesday. Talk, yeah, let's talk about Tuesday. Tuesday. That, that's the welcome packet day. Um, so we didn't park anyone. No, Tuesday no. we were a bad parking crew. Uh, and our boss, Kevin, he reminded us that <laughs> he, we were, quote, slackers. Joe from Alliance, that you just saw, pulled us away from Kevin, our parking boss. How many rigs you parked today? One. That's it? You're done. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> but we did the other duties as a sign. So we did have an offsite meeting with the other brand ambassadors and with Joe Mel, and we got to meet his new crew. Yes. And we had a great meeting and collaborative. So. Yeah, that was fun. That Tuesday was, fun. was good. It was a lot of fun. So once all the check-ins done, then you get to really, all right, everybody go settle in a little more, make sure everything's good. And then Wednesday happens and Wednesday is it's a day, full sprint. Mm -hmm, that's day one of the rally. So there's breakfast and there's seminars, you know, the welcome uh, from Coley and Ryan and Bill and Yeah, kind of everyone. the State of the Union address. Yeah. And then you, get, you can go over to the vendor hall, which we really love because mm -hmm. there's always something new and cool that we end up wanting or buying. And then I will say there was a new vendor this year. There was a new booth. What was that? RV Unplugged. If you Ooh. have not watched RV Unplugged, go check it out. Go check it out. We competed on there and yep. we had an amazing time. Made a lot of friends. Yep. Great experience. Mm -hmm. Once you're done traveling through the vendor booths, then you get to watch all of the seminars and you can learn all about maintenance and care and upgrades and things to do, not to do. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, each night, Alliance fed us dinner. So yes. Wednesday and Thursday, they fed us dinner. Friday, Friday was, was hula night. or Hula night, potluck night. Hawaiian night, whatever uh, you want to call it. What I enjoy about this whole event, besides seeing Fam Alley, is all the donations. Oh so my God, this year's yes. donations was for the Boys and Girls Club of Elkhart. And of course, we had to put in our bids and we got a, we got a to few win things. a yeah. couple prizes that we got to purchase. Yeah, and what we love about the community as a whole is last year it was for a family that had a preemie and needed some help from a medical mm -hmm. standpoint this year it was the boys and girls club of elkhart and they raised seventeen thousand dollars seventeen one oh one they oh, said as of this morning yes and then the color run which we did today saturday weigh a uh, hundred thousand dollars and thirteen hundred participants so that was a record for them yes. so you think about that that's a hundred and seventeen thousand dollars that was raised for the boys and girls club for Elkhart in a matter of five days that's incredible this is the most amazing community ever and we're so blessed to be a part of it and girls club this is a huge huge deal for our community uh, it's a huge deal for our kids you know the club which is uh, here in Elkhart not too far from here at the Beardsley School um, supports great youth programs and really helps again our community better so I want to thank you guys. We've raised, I, I think it's over $100,000 for this event. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, and thank you to all of you for being here. This is a big deal. Your contributions are huge and really, again, make our community a better place. So thank you. And if the train's loud, welcome to Goshen, Indiana, y'all. Sorry. Choo -choo. We're still at the fairgrounds. <laughs> yes, we are. So what's Saturday look like? The rally's done. We mm -hmm. can breathe. We're all chalked out. We're going to go get cleaned up. Got away from my boy. Whoop, yeah. whoop. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, what's Saturday look like? Saturday, well, I think we're going to get the leaf blower out, see what we can do, some damage control on our outfits or our shoes at least. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, absolutely. You're going to be here for a little bit? Okay. We're not leaving until yeah. tomorrow. Oh, okay. So we are going to stay the night here. We're going to hang out with some allies uh, tonight. We got to leave by noon tomorrow and then we are heading to Michigan. Yeah. I'm really excited because we don't have Michigan sticker on our map, so we're going to officially be able to put it on there. And we've never been to Mackinac Island, so we're going to go there. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. We have a, a 5 o'clock summer cruise during our stay there. Yep. 
But we're going to stay off-site at a campground, of course. Yeah. I'm really excited to go explore the island. I'm not squirreling, y'all. There is a bird nest right above our trailer on the pole, and these little Tweet Tweets are just having a sweet time, so I hope they're serenading you. <laughs> All right, so the end of this rally has come, and mm -hmm. I can say we have absolutely had a blast and cannot wait to do it again next year. If you haven't had a chance to come to a, a rally in Indiana, I'd highly encourage you to do that. If mm -hmm. you can't get away to Indiana, go check out the regional rallies. Martha and I are wagon masters for which one? The Florida rally. And what's a the wagon Southern master? The Southern Alley rally. So we are going to be hosting the whole shebang. End to end. Mm -hmm. It's our baby with a whole lot of help. <laughs> yeah, so since we're taking it over, we're um, planning out the dates and where it's going to be at because some things may change. Yep, it's going to be March. It's going to be in Florida, so come see us. Uh, I know May in Texas. They have September in Michigan. There's a ton of them. They're popping up everywhere because yeah. Pam Alley Pacific is... Northwest, and there's Georgia. They're, yeah, they're all over, so definitely check the Lions RV group, the events tab. That's right. Thank you all for watching our video. Go check out all the upgrades that we just did on this trailer. Yep, and don't forget, most importantly, like, subscribe, and share. Please do. It means the world to us. And enjoy every moment. So why, what else is happening today? So today is day after the rally, and a Ooh. lot of... I know, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. The rally's over. Woo, I can we